With only two seasons under his belt in the unlimited trick truck class, Justin Lofton is no stranger to pressure. He's been competing his entire life. He was literally born in the desert, and his playmates as a child were a motorcycle and a BMX bike. Well, I grew up in the Imperial Valley, in Brawley, California, actually, just outside of Glamis. So, grew up going in the desert, riding quads, spending time out in Superstition, Glamis. And my dad started racing about a year after I was born. And so it was just kind of a natural path that I was going to take was to get into racing with a lot of different avenues up before then. I went from racing BMX bikes to racing mountain bike, racing Colorado hill climb cars, racing stock cars, and in between I dabbled in desert stuff, but it was never a full-time choice for me like it is now. Like many kids who grew up in Imperial Valley, Justin began racing off-road at a young age with the dream of one day making it to the elite level. 2004 was my very first full-time off-road season. Matt Lloyd East from Jimco and I teamed up and we ran a Class 1000 car in Bessem Desert. Followed in, in our father's footsteps and put BFGs on our uh, Class 10 car and won the championship our first year out. Been a great relationship with them. There was a couple years that you know I went and did other forms of racing and, and different partnerships developed, but. As soon as we built our trick truck, there was no questions asked what to go back to and what we're going to have the best success with. And uh, to me, they're the best tire in the desert. Competitive by nature, Justin climbed his way up through the ladder system of off-road, starting in buggies and eventually making his way up into the unlimited trick truck class in 2015. That year, he won the mid 400 overall and proved he could compete with the top dogs in the sport. However, he suffered two horrendous crashes later in the season that tested his resolve. Won the Mint 400, had a lot of confidence going into the next race, and missed a you know, marking on the GPS and went flying up over a, a roller on a high-speed road well over 100 miles an hour. And you know, we were fortunate enough that Jimco builds as good of trucks as they do, and we were both fortunate enough to walk away. We were banged up and bruised up, and rebuilt, came back, had a pretty successful uh, Vegas Torino race and getting ready to do some light bar testing for the Baja 1000 that we had planned to run. Kind of same thing, missed another marker on the GPS and barrel rolled the truck and tore it up uh, you know, pretty good and we were able to walk away and you know, we took the next couple months to regather our thoughts and you know, our efforts and came back out and 2016 swinging. Justin answered by returning to the Mint in 2016, and among one of the most stacked fields in off-road history, he became one of an elite few to win the Mint overall, back to back. Winning the 2016 Mint 400, maybe even to this day, it's still kind of setting in. I mean, it was one of the most intense races I've ever been a part of. One of the funnest races I've ever been a part of, just because we all were so close. You know, I hope we can go out and experience it again. We've got a new bullet in, in the trailer that's coming out for it, and uh, you know, we're putting all our money on going out winning the, the Mint 400 for the third time. Jimco puts in just the insane amount of man hours. Their unique touch that they put on every race car that comes out of here just makes everyone else's components on the race car look that much better. To win the Mint 400 for the third time would, you know, it would definitely be unbelievable. To do it the second time alone was enough, but to be able to do it a third time, be able to put myself in the record books, essentially, you're racing against the toughest off-road racers there are. And to be able to go out for the third time and just say, here I am and this is what I do and, and uh, this is my race, it would, uh, it would be really special and that's what we're going for. That's what we're starting from the very last race of the 2016 season was we're going to win the Mint 400. Can Justin do the impossible and win the Mint for the third consecutive year? Come see for yourself the 2017 Polaris Razor Mint 400, presented by BF Goodrich Tires, runs March 1st through the 5th in Sin City, Las Vegas. Visit themint400.com for complete details.